Radio, they've been together for seven years now. Uh, they uh, appeared on the Ozfest bill a couple of years ago, and they come to us from Orlando, Florida. They are Trivium, and welcome to New Zealand, lads. Now, I looked in the, in the dictionary, and Trivium uh, is a Latin for the intersection between the three... So I have to read this, sorry, because I can't remember it. It's between the three schools of uh, learning, grammar, rhetoric, and uh, logic. And how does that sort of relate to, uh, to the band? Uh, nothing, really. Uh, well, that's uh, a cool sound. The, uh, the original singer yeah. from the band came up with it. And got kicked out. Sound cool, and yeah. he got kicked out and kept it. Now, I guess in the grand scheme of things, you're sort of a fairly young band coming through, and you've been on the road already with Fear Factory and Machine Head and stuff. Do, do the older bands, when you're on tour with them, sort of pass down knowledge? Um... It, it's just mutual respect, you know. I mean, now we've come to the point where, you know, we're bringing out bands, and I guess, you know, some bands are learning stuff off of us, but it's always like that, you know, no matter what. There's it's always something to learn and mm -hmm. and stuff, you know. I mean, we just just going out on that Iron Maiden tour, you know, we learned so much. Oh, well, you too, with Iron Maiden. That was our first taste of, you know, what, what arenas are like and stuff, you know, and that's a totally different... Um, experience to playing, you know, clubs and yeah. stuff and what we've done before. And what first sort of uh, drew you to, to get into music? What, what one band was it or a record that you listened to and you thought that's what I want to do for a job? Oh. Just getting into music was just, you know, playing with my friends. I'd say personally, getting into metal music, Metallica. I got into heavier music from uh, Guns N' Roses and then once I got into Metallica was when I really was like full-blown into wanting to be in a band. That was like my introduction to the whole heavier side of music. Um, I, talk, I talked to Zach Wild a couple of months back and he said, um, you know, when he's, when he's not on stage, he's in the tour bus, he listens to everything but metal. Um, and, I, and I guess it's probably a common perception that uh, people who are, who are into metal spend, spend their time listening to metal. Do you guys find yourselves listening to metal when you're, when you're not on stage? You can't really relax in, you know, on a plane and, and chill out when you're cranking like Megadeth or something, but you no, know, I'll listen to it all the time and but like you know when you relax I like to listen to like kind of like mellow just instrumental guitar music. How do you, how do you deal with, with uh, the press and stuff because I mean at times the press can be very harsh to, to bands and, and you know tear, try and tear strips off them but do you just take, take no notice of that sort of thing if, if they are? Um, I don't really read or see any of the press we do because we're on tour so you know someone you know, says something bad, it's like, I just say fuck off, you know, it's like, I could critique them on what they do for a living, but, you know, I don't do that, because, you know, I don't, I don't care, you know, people, it's all part of it, you, though, do, you know, you know yeah. and don't listen to what anyone else has As long as they keep mentioning the name, you know, that's all that matters. Uh, anyways, well, boys, I know it's a fleeting visit to New Zealand, I hope you can uh, capture some of what the, uh, the city has to offer, and I hope you enjoy your stay in New Zealand, I hope the show Thank goes you. well, Thank you. and uh, all the best for trivia for the future. Thank you. Thank you.